What is going on everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is John. Today I have for you a big box good. That's right, today we're going to be taking a look at the George Men's and Big Men's Fashion Jersey Polo up to size 3XLT I picked up at Walmart for $5.50 down from $7.96. Out of five stars, it gets four and a half. Out of 48 customer reviews, this polo shirt or collared shirt, I should say, comes in about five different colors. It comes in this really cool blue cove stripe, which I have right here. It comes in a green juniper stripe. It comes in a gray flannel stripe, which I have right here. It comes in an orange curry stripe, which we have in the middle. And last but not least, it comes with a slate blue stripe. This shirt does run in between sizes extra small and 3XLT, though it is currently sold out at my Walmart. They do not sell the 3XLT. So I figured I would make this video about just the type of shirt you can get at Walmart. Uh, we're gonna see how this shirt fits, if it's comfortable or not, and most importantly, if it looks good. This isn't the first time that I've actually seen this shirt or other shirts go on sale at this low of price at Walmart. Walmart always has a rollback going on on a variety of different clothing items. And uh, when I was there the other day, just so happened to be these shirts. Yeah, so we've got the gray flannel stripe, which I don't know why they call it a flannel. Maybe it's the material that's sort of flannel. But what's interesting is the other shirts do not go by flannel. For instance, this shirt in the middle here is a orange curry stripe. It's this sort of orange curry color with this gray stripe. And then last but not least, we have this blue cove stripe uh, at the very end here. We'll start off with it since it's out of frame and we'll bring it into frame. But this is the blue cove stripe. Uh, it's actually this fantastic color. It's the same material as the orange curry stripe. It has this sort of orange or pinkish stripe running through it. It's actually very fashionable looking. It's pretty conservative. The uh, stripe is sort of not solid all the way through. It's actually kind of bowed out or maybe frayed a little bit, which gives it a bit of contrast. It gives the shirt this sort of shimmer, which I like. Uh, it makes the stripe uh, a little bit dull and a little bit harder to see, which for some of you, uh, might be preferable because, uh, I don't know, maybe stripes just aren't your thing normally. So uh, they're not very wide in diameter or width. The uh, sleeves look to be pretty short, but we'll go ahead and see uh, just how exactly they fit once we get the shirt on. Um, as you can see here, we've got a pocket on the front for an iPhone SE, it looks like. I think if you had something bigger like an iPhone 11 Pro Max or maybe a Samsung Galaxy S device or Note device. This could take like a pocket organizer, maybe not a full size wallet. Uh, it could take a pair of car keys, it could take some ID cards, it could take some folded up cash. Uh, like I said, this shirt isn't flannel, but it's the same material as the gray flannel stripe shirt, which we'll take a look at in a minute. I think 46 through 48, that should probably be the width of the tail of the shirt. I uh, really don't see any problems with quality control. Uh, you get some stitching along the shoulder, which is really nice. Okay, so uh, next up, uh, we're gonna take a look at the gray flannel stripe. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and peel off this sticker here. The uh, sleeves, for the most part, look about the same length. Uh, you get some stitching around the uh, shoulder pads here. Uh, take up to an iPhone SE. Uh, a little bit of stitching running across towards the top of the pocket. Orange curry stripe. I picked it up an extra large. It's also 4648. By the way, this orange curry is like an orange with a silverish white stripe. Again, the stripe is not that large in diameter. Uh, if we actually take a look at the bottom of the shirt here, we can see that the back of the shirt's just a little bit longer than the front. Uh, I really haven't seen any issues with these shirts. They all look really good. Okay, so, so far, this is the orange curry stripe. Like I said, it's a gray stripe. It's a very thin stripe. It looks 
really conservative actually. It doesn't look uh, stand out or stand offish at all. It doesn't look out of the norm. It doesn't look like I'm trying to go for a style that's not mine. Uh, it's pretty easy to get into wearing stripes with a shirt like this. Uh, so here's what it looks like uh, with no buttons. You know, maybe not the best look with this type of shirt. Uh, maybe you'll want to wear it like that, not sure. Here it is with one button. Uh, here it is with two buttons. And here it is all the way buttoned up. For those of you who uh, just enjoy watching my videos and receiving some form of entertainment from this, uh, overall what I can say is this shirt is actually pretty comfortable. I would imagine that if I was wearing it with an undershirt, it would be a little less comfortable. It might be a little bit too crammed on the inside. I feel like I have plenty of rooms in the sleeves uh, and in the shoulders, but I feel like if I had an undershirt on, I would definitely be pushing the boundaries a little bit. Here is the shirt from the side. Here is the shirt from the back. Here is the shirt from the right side. Okay, so this is the extra large tall. Uh, there's definitely a little bit more room in the tail of the shirt, a little bit more room in the sleeves. I think the sleeves are a little bit longer. Uh, the shoulders feel the same as well, but like I said, the sleeves are just a tad longer, just sort of this stretchy cotton material. Feels light. It doesn't feel heavy. Uh, I, again, even though I feel like I have a little bit more room in this shirt, not sure that I would want to wear this with an undershirt. Uh, big enough for a small cell phone, a 4.7 inch cell phone like an iPhone SE. Here's what it looks like from the back. Here's what it looks like from the opposite side. And last but not least, no buttons, one button, two buttons, three buttons. And last but not least, this is the Blue Cove Stripe. It's this sort of navy blue colored collared shirt. Uh, sleeves are a little bit smaller and that's because this is an extra large. It's not an extra large tall like the last shirt we saw, but it's still just as comfortable and I think looks just as good. Definitely a little bit smaller than the extra large tall. If you're someone who wants a little bit more room, you definitely will benefit from going with the tall variant. Or if you just like the style of something that's a little bit more form fitting and something with a shorter tail, Definitely go with the extra large standard. What I really like about George is you only get the logo behind your neck, inside the collar, inside the t-shirt. Yeah, I think if you want it to be a little bit less form fitting, go with the extra large tall, like I said previously. Anyways guys, this is the George men's and men's big and tall fashion jersey polo I picked up at Walmart four or five dollars and fifty cents down from 796 out of five stars it gets four and a half out of 48 customer reviews uh not sure if you'll be able to find this shirt at your local walmart but i think this video is definitely an idea of the type of clothing you'll find at walmart and the type of quality you should expect from clothing at walmart so anyways guys because i picked it up at walmart that makes it a big box good i hope you guys enjoy this content once again, I want to say thank you so much for a thousand subscribers. It's a milestone we passed the other day. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. My name is John. I hope you enjoyed. Hit that like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.